All right, hey, this is Chris and Buster. Uh, we thought we'd show you some of our off-grid stuff. So this is our solar um, solar water heater. It's actually a preheater. So what this does is this preheats my water. I've got a well here, and the water temperature in the summer, middle of summer, is uh, 60 degrees. It's normally about 55 right now coming out of the well. And today is April 4th, 2020. It's a nice, pleasant day. It's low 70s. And I thought I'd show you what the uh, temperature of our tank is. So, here at the base, it's 80 degrees. Up here at the top, we're at right at 98. Yeah. So, that's a 40 degree push and and that's taking care of two-thirds of my heating of my hot water so um when it gets hot like 90 degrees well it'll be up to 130 degrees at the top of that tank um this tank is something i made myself it's all stainless steel um has one outlet which it's important that you leave a space for air in the top of the tank so uh, as the water heats up it doesn't it has a place for that pressure to go so the air can compress and handle otherwise if you fill the thing up where there was no air in the tank well it wouldn't it split welds pretty fast so anyway it's a stainless steel tank we've got uh, feed in at the bottom and I've actually got a cover internal on that bottom cover that uh, is welded so the water coming in doesn't shoot straight up instead it deflects down here at the bottom and fills up so it's just an internal easy um, internal like flap that's that's about an uh, inch and a half off the uh, bottom of the tank uh, so if you were to take a wire or something you wouldn't be able to go deep into that tank it, you'd hit that stop so anyway you got your water coming in and uh, straight from the well and then this goes to my electric water heater so um, if it's cloudy or whatever I still have hot water this is a way for me to offset my AC in the summer um, not so pretty is my insulation which is just some clear foam insulation that I contact submitted to the back the underneath the tank so I wasn't losing and before um, before I added these reflectors, which are also stainless steel, um, I was getting up to 120. I gained about 10 degrees by adding those reflectors to get a little bit more temp. Anyway, hope you guys found this useful. This is simple. Um, I've got a hundred dollars in it. It paid for itself the first year. Um, I'm really into solar energy, and I looked at at having the vacuum which is the most energy efficient. They're crazy insane. You can use them rear round, but they also cost like four grand. So this thing um, saves me about $25 a month when I've got it in operation. So anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video and if you've got any more questions, uh, leave a comment and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Say, say goodbye, Buster. Buster's in. You better leave Mama's lavender alone. Say goodbye. Wow. Wow.